breast milk science. It's a thing, and it's our thing. We're Byheart. We're an infant formula company on a mission to get a lot closer to the most super, super food on the planet, breast milk. Our patented protein blend has more of the important and most abundant proteins found in breast milk. We're the first and only U.S.-made formula to use organic, grass-fed whole milk, not skim. We make our formula in our own factories in Iowa, Oregon, and Pennsylvania using a small batch manufacturing process that works to preserve the integrity of our ingredients. We ran the largest clinical trial by a new infant formula company in 25 years and clinically proved benefits like easier digestion, less gas, and softer poops versus a leading infant formula. We were the first infant formula company to earn the Clean Label Project Purity Award. And while we've put a lot into Byheart, there's a long list of things you won't see on our ingredient list, like no corn syrup, no maltodextrin, no GMO ingredients, no soy, no palm oil. By Heart, a better formula for formula. Learn more at byheart.com. This is Conversate with us with Chris Donovan and Evelyn Rivas. Here we are back at it again. Hi. How are you? Welcome to the show. I'm Evelyn Rivas. That is my wonderful, talented husband, Chris Donovan. He's playing with his mic right now, guys. <laughs> That's not a metaphor for anything, actually. One of the Are things okay? fell off the spring mount, so I had to fix One it quick. One of the things fell off the spring mount. Is that technical nerd terms? Well, like or... We could have blew one right past it if you didn't bring it back up. <laughs> but beside that, the microphone's working now. There we go. Hey, welcome back to the show. It's only been a couple weeks because, well. Life. We always say it. Life. Yeah, Life I was happens. in Dallas for a few days. I was coming yeah, through. you went to Dallas. You were traveling for business like a badass boss. <laughs> Is that what, that, what I am? That's so cool. Oh, my God. I mean, and you it was business and pleasure because you got to hang out with your friend. Yeah, but my friends do work for free, so it was, it was, it was good. Work, worked out great. Yeah, employees are and cheaper that way. he bought your plane ticket, didn't he? He, he did. So that he was did. nice. And all the booze I drank at his house There you I go. There. So it was work and it was pleasure. It was. It That's was nice. Texas, too. So, But what yeah. about our food? Where are we at with our food? Well, let's talk about food, obviously. Because I was in Dallas when this happened, and I'm a little upset about it because I don't get a fresh version of it, but can you please... Explain to me what you did when I wasn't here with you. All right. If you're new to the show, welcome to Converse Eat with us. We, ta- we always talk about food first and then all the other things going on in our lives. But the f- first thing to talk about about food today would be what I made the children over the weekend while you were gone. Uh, it was a first for me. You made them do the yard. I wish I had done that. Yeah, right. <laughs> that would also be a first for me. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, so we made breakfast pizza. Mm. So, you know, obviously every kid loves pizza. In fact, every one in this podcast House. loves pizza. Yeah. So we love pizza. Um, but I had had a really good breakfast pizza one time before. It was at Lazy Dog. You and I went, yeah, we were working Ooh. with Bill Phillips, um, psychic medium Bill Phillips. We were there for his, supporting a show he was going to be doing at the Ontario Improv. And across the street was a Lazy Dog, which we had never gone to before. No. Went to it, and it was breakfast time. So I had myself a, a breakfast pizza, and it was really good. Had egg on it and some bacon, and I'm like, this is so good. So I always have thought about it, and like, how can I make a breakfast pizza for the kids? Would they like it? And Would now, they even like be- it? Before you go any further, I just wanted to say, the egg you had on your pizza wasn't like, it was scrambled eggs. It was straight up, there were three eggs just fried on the pizza. From Lazy Dog. It was amazing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. From Lazy Dog. So the way that I did the pizza, um, first I told the kids, are you up for an adventure this morning? And they said, yes. Wait, did Aiden run yes, into his please. room, get a cape, grab some like stuff and True go? True Aiden fashion. Where are we going, mother? Do I need the ring? <laughs> <laughs> no, he comes up and he's like, I'll, have, I'll try that. Okay, go ahead. So um, Cassie and I, of course, Cassie wants to be a little chef. So she stayed in the kitchen with me. And what we used to make it a little simpler, and I will do this again and okay. again and again. They make a Pillsbury dough. So it's rolled up, you know, in the Pillsbury can, oh okay. like a rolled up can. Like you would th- get, I don't know, croissants and make, you know, all the little Pillsbury goodies, right? The, the biscuits. All of that kind of stuff. So what you do is you roll, unroll that. I, for some reason in my head, thought they were going to be small, like a couple in there small. But no, it's one giant oh. big pizza. It's a rectangular pizza um, dough. So I'm like, okay, cool. Is that one of those things where if you like unpeel it halfway, it goes, 
Yes. Okay. Those yeah, are when scary you like, as hell. you have to like push push on the Pillsbury thing, and it's like, <laughs> and you think it's gonna explode in your face. Yep. Yes. Okay. The, anyway, those are important. so fun. Okay, so unrolled it, put it on the on the baking sheet, and uh, I'm like, okay, so I'm gonna bake this first because you have to bake it first to get the dough done, right? So you bake it for eight minutes until it's you know mostly done. Okay. Take it out, and then you put all your toppings on top. Okay. So what Cassie did, and Cassie makes the best eggs. She does. She kills it at eggs. They're always light and fluffy and like perfectly. I taught her well. They're never overcooked. They're always perfect. So she made a bunch of eggs. We did mm. six eggs. Okay. Wow. But now, it cost a ton. The one thing I would change next time is for the sauce, I will use sausage gravy. And this is what you were telling me. This is, we, we've talked about this prior, obviously, but when you said that, I'm like, yeah. Please. So next time I'll use sausage gravy, but I didn't have any. A very thick sausage gravy. Yeah. It would be really good. Like a layer of it on there. We're so making it for dinner. So what I did instead is I used pizza sauce. I had pizza sauce. So I was like, okay, we're going to use pizza sauce. I still think it's going to taste good. Mm -hmm. Totally laid that down. Got all of Cassie's scrambled eggs. Kind of chopped them up a little bit more just so that they would evenly fall on the dough. Laid that all down. Did I do that first? No, I think I did cheese first. And then I put the eggs on top of it. Mm -hmm. And then I did a layer of sausage, crumbled sausage. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I did sausage, and it was just so, it was so good. And it's then... It's like you're eating on, like, really thin, like, toast. It's almost like a flatbread, Yeah, if you kind of think oh, of it that way. That oh, yummy. it's just so yummy. And then um, put another layer of cheese just to make sure it got you gooey enough. You got enough cheese? Yes. No, but you're addicted to cheese. That's the cheese. reason you put another give layer of cheese. cheese. Or give, give me cheese. Give me cheese or give me death. <laughs> so, yes. And now this is this is going to be controversial because I didn't have fresh bacon to no. make bacon crisp. I put bacon bits on it. <laughs> Get out. But it still tasted so good because it added some crunchiness to our pizza. Yeah, I think I think that if you did the sausage gravy instead of the pizza sauce mm -hmm. and instead of the bacon bits, you did real bacon, but you cut them up in like smaller pieces, but not as small as bits. I like the bits though. I won't lie because it was just crunchy enough and I didn't put, I didn't overwhelm it. It mm. added a little bit of salt and it added a little bit of crunch. And honestly, to me, I was like, that's a win. All right. Well, it then was I'll so take good. that. I'll take that. If you do the sausage gravy and put the bacon bits on it, I'm down. Okay. And not so, like it matters. I'm going to eat it anyway. Once you're done with that, you have to actually put it in the oven again. And then. Oh God, I got to wait longer. Yes. Oh. But it's really short because really you're just cooking melting it all together, cheese, melting yeah. it all together. Everything's cooked already and you're just finishing the dough, right? You have another, like, I think it's eight more minutes Yo! and it's done oh, it sounds and it's so yummy. golden brown. I put a little bit of olive oil on the dough just because I felt like that was necessary. I don't oh. know why. Did her and Popeye break up? Um, no, she's good. She's okay. good. She's been, uh, yeah. Extradited? I guess, sure. Extradited? I don't know what that means. Like, okay. Olive oil was her name, right? Olive oil. From Popeye? From Popeye? Okay, yeah. Anyway, Old school. I was looking at the calendar, and we are busy this weekend, but when am I going to get that pizza? Um, You tell me. No, that's not true. Next weekend? The weekend after? I don't know. Maybe the weekend after. The weekend after. I have a baby shower. But That's maybe the weekend after on apparently. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, She'll fix that. I got to fix that in our calendar because that is not the time of the baby shower. Okay, yeah. So I want it yeah. soon. So Yeah, we'll go. We'll do it. All we'll right. make it happen. All right. Make it happen, Captain. And the kids, you know, it's even more fun is they ate it up, but mm -hmm. they didn't finish it because it was pretty big. Mm -hmm. And Aiden ate it, I think, for dinner twice this week. <laughs> 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 so it was multipurpose. Which he re means he really liked it. He really did. Right. Yeah. Super like yummy. It. I know. I can't wait to try it. I think you really will. And anybody that wants to try it, just, I mean, literally, it's so simple. But I would highly suggest getting that Pillsbury dough to just make it easy on yourself so you're not killing yourself trying to make a homemade dough mm. like we've done in the past when we do homemade yeah. pizza. But oh, it's homemade just pizza. so much easier and way faster. Sausage gravy is the way to go. Though. Okay. Well, do sausage gravy. Damn. I'm looking at the pictures. Sorry. I'm getting hungry now. All right, right now, right now? Yeah, let's go. Right now, right now. Right now, right now. <laughs> Do you want to go first? Uh, Who goes first? This is really weird. Who goes first? You go first? I go first. I think you should go first to tell uh, the story of what our right now, right now is because it literally happened an hour ago. Okay, so uh, I'll try to do a quick uh, non-crying version of this. Okay. <laughs> this was a really rough 
couple hours. No, no. Uh, so I was, I'm home. I take the kids to school. I drop one off at one, one off the other, get home, sit here, and I hear a noise in the background. I'm like, hey, what was that? And I look around, nothing. Walk around, no big deal. No big deal. Watching TV while I'm producing, while I'm answering doing emails, all doing all stuff. stuff. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, um, I hear a ding dong. And I'm like, oh, got a delivery. FedEx. Cool. Nice. nice. Gave I, it a minute. And I'm like, I'll get it in a second. got here. I'm oh, excited yeah, your about that. Your show up, actually. <laughs> That's my right now, right now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Do you want to go into that? No, no, uh, no. Yeah. That was her right now, right now. Let me continue mine. Um so I then I hear the noise again. I'm like, what the heck was that? So I go outside. I'm like, is Zoe outside? Because she scratches the door to make noise. Right. So I go outside. No. And I walk out and the screen door is like sp- on our sliding glass door from our bedroom. It's partially fallen it's off. A, it's slightly ajar. It's a skew. Okay. Not a jar. It wasn't a jar? No, it can't be a jar. It doesn't have anything to hold. Okay. Anyway, uh, so uh, it was it was slightly ajar and um, <laughs> I fixed it. I went back inside and I went, oh, crap. How would this have happened without somebody maybe pushing it open? And that somebody was one of our felines. So that's when it struck you at that yes. moment. That was the moment it's, you went, oh, no. One of the cats is outside. Our indoor cat is outside. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. So I, so I closed the door, slider, glass, everything, walk around the house. Where was our other cat? Because there's one, only one guy staring out. at me like I'm an idiot. Like... <laughs> okay, like, dude, I, I tried to show yeah, show you. Like the he, other cat got out. He broke out a long time ago. <laughs> uh, so he. Uh, so the noise you heard an hour prior was apparently the screen door being adjusted <laughs> to make his escape. Yeah, okay, got it. So it's like Alcatraz, smart ass catch. <laughs> <laughs> so I get up, I fix the screen door, I come back inside, and I'm freaking out, thinking, okay. I'm not freaking out, but I'm like, okay, cool. This cat got out probably. Yeah. Walk around the house, look in all the rooms, look in all the doors, look in the closets because this cat's that stupid. Uh, or if that's smart. I mean, really, well, it, it depends on how too. you look at it. Go in the garage, check that out. And I go outside and I go, nope. And I'm like, oh, the cat is gone. <gasps> cameras. We have cameras. We do. I can check cameras. I'm going to check which, cameras. Which is funny that you never heard the cameras going off earlier. I work with headphones. Okay. But you never saw the alerts on your phone? Just, just asking for, you know, research purposes. <laughs> I get into a groove. Okay, so yes, there were alerts. Yeah, there yeah, were yeah, actual like thirty-seven alerts. There were a ton of alerts. Not thirty-seven going alerts. off. Uh, our cameras were spotting something around our house. I just want to make sure that's clear. Okay, yeah, it's clear. Okay, so our cat is on camera all around the house. Yes, you look even the side yard where nothing ever <laughs> happens. So were you doing a time uh, like a time lapse or like were you trying to figure it out? Okay, let me figure out my timeline here. Um, I this is m- me on camera noticing the door is open. <laughs> now let me scroll back. I did, and I'm like, oh my god, there's the our cat Kylo. Oh my god, there he is again. Oh my god, there he is again. Yeah, and the thing was, is when I scrolled back, I'm like, okay, that's me. All right, cool, that's a FedEx guy. Okay, cool, that that's the cat. That was three minutes ago. Uh-huh. I was just outside. Two minutes ago. Which means he's in the front yard now. Which means he's somewhere out there. And I'm like, oh, crap. So I'm going everywhere. And I looked around for a good 10, 15 minutes before I called you. <sighs> and I called Evelyn. And she goes, hey, what's going on? And I'm like, hey, we got a problem. She goes, what? I go, I can't find Kylo. She goes, what? And I go, I'm not going to say anything beside that. I just can't find him. I'm looking around for him. So, um, And I knew he would not call me if he wasn't in full-on panic mode. Because Kylo hides in our house all the time. But Kylo also is our little escape artist. Like, he will run out of our door if we allow him to, but he never goes far. He goes direct to the little bushes right next to our door. So we always know when he's out because he's always, like, trying to escape to go to the little bushes. But then we're walking around for, God, an hour at least with the little bag of treats where he always comes to them, but nothing, nothing, nothing. So, yeah, I pull up. I go really slow through our neighborhood. Now I'm freaking out. I called our neighbors, and I let them know to please... Keep a lookout. My next door neighbor is like a huge cat enthusiast. So she is, oh my God, you must be freaking out. I would be dying right now. And I'm like, yes, Julie, just go check your backyard, please, so that we we know. He likes that, to go back there because yes, the other cats Yes, that's that all are, I care yeah. about. You know, I just want, please go and check. He's not in your backyard. It's our direct next door neighbor. Oh, I will. Oh my God, now that I think about it. I think he was underneath my window earlier he and was. my cat had noticed, but I thought it was another black cat in the neighborhood. And I'm like, Oh my God. Okay. That so was totally the cat. It was totally our cat. So what happens? We're looking, we keep looking and we're panicking. Now we're walking up and down the street. Keep in mind, all our kids are in school right now. Mm-hmm. 
this, the, the reason this is an extra huge deal. Okay, I was going to get to that right okay. now. The reason why I'm panicking is, is because, because we have to tell Aiden. <laughs> Aiden, we know oh, that man. will be the worst ever. Every single day I pick that kid up from school, he is sitting there going, how are the cats? And I'm like, I let him free. <laughs> and, and he's you, like, what? And I'm like, they're fine, dude. Every day. Every like today. single day. And he's like, I am dreading him. Chris was almost in tears. He's like, I am dreading <laughs> picking him up from school and him asking me, how are the cats? And me saying, I'll, I'll tell you later. You know what I said? When we get home. You said you're picking him up from school. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what he said. He's like, I ain't doing it. You're picking him up. If this is what happens before he's like, we don't find the cat. This is what's happening. So we we are full panic mode. We you went driving around the neighborhood. Yep. I can't tell you how many times I'm walking up and down the street. Our neighbors think we're crazy. Um, <laughs> shaking a do, ba- shaking a bag of snacks and then <laughs> yelling Kylo, Kylo, thinking this lazy ass cat is going to come running out to me when I literally know he won't. Yeah. And what he's going to do is he's going to be like, mm, I'm really comfortable in this grassy bush area. I'm just going to stay here because that's all I'm thinking is he's hiding in a bush and he's not going to come out because he's just excited. He gets to sit in a bush. That's what I'm thinking. And then I was thinking, oh, he's stuck on a roof. He jumped up there and doesn't know how to jump down. <laughs> yeah. So I kept going. I'm he's an indoor around. cat. Like he's never really had an adventure outside. So we look and look. We, we review the footage once again. <laughs> That's oh, yes. what we oh, did. Yes. That's what we did. We went back so, to the camera. <laughs> we, we go back to the replay we, to make sure we make the right call. We make extensive uh, alterations in our game plan by looking at the last video of, of Kylo. And when we look at it, we notice he's walking towards the door. The front door. One minute later, the FedEx, FedEx guy, guy comes. Yep. And... And the next thing you noticed was if when you opened up the video further. Yeah, when I actually watched to the very end of the FedEx guy being there. Kylo goes running like so scaredy cat oh, we need to save status. Videos, I should right <laughs> he runs so fast behind the FedEx guy on our, you know, in basically on our front yard, running back yeah. towards what looks like he probably is going to our backyard, to our backyard again. Yeah. So Which, backyard again. Back, and, then, <laughs> and then that is my reference to backyard again. Um, it no, was, it was, so it, we look at each other. We're like, holy crap. He's probably just in our backyard then. Yeah. He's probably still back there somewhere. We just don't know where. So I turn the sprinklers on. That'll get him moving, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> nothing. 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 <laughs> nothing. And we're, nothing. I, we're close to tears. I, Chris, I'm pretty sure you actually were welling up. <laughs> well, we were getting really nervous. I was outside going, okay, how am I going to present this to my son? And how am I going to do that? And then I'm like... I walk Kylo, over. I know you're hiding. I know you're somewhere out here. Well, I had just walked past a bunch of, like, we have a bunch of pool stuff out there. And I'm, oh, like, joking floaties. around and trying to, like, stay calm because I am actually freaking out. And uh, I'm, like, and I'm trying not to make Chris feel bad because I know he already feels terrible. Like, this is my fault. I let this cat out on accident, and it's on me. And, uh, you know, and so I'm, like, no, no, you're fine. So I go over to this pool floaties, and I shake him, and I'm, like, I'm like, okay, you won hide and seek, Kylo. <laughs> Come on, little guy. And I'm, you know, trying to be sweet and shaking the little snackies and nothing's Nothing. happening. I walk. I go, okay, I'm going to go sit in the front yard. We had a chair out in the front yard because we were just thinking, if we just see him walking somewhere, we'll, we'll, we'll know he's here. Like if there's less just, traffic, he might move out. Yeah, so we kept quiet. And we're watching. I'm sitting in the front yard, and I hear. I'm in the backyard. I'm like, found him! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there, and I'm like, God, you stupid cat. I know you're in here. Just. Like, like, stop hiding, and I kick all the floaties, and he runs out, out of the floaties, the floaties. Which I had just looked at, yeah. but he was so scared. And he looks he back was... at me with this piece of, like, grass or yeah. stickers or something connected to his face, like he had just gotten a fight, yeah. or just, like... He, he was, was scared straight. Yeah. <laughs> he was scared straight. It looked like we had just... He was like those kids that get talked to by the prison right? guys, or the guy who are like, gonna... you're gonna end up like me if you don't care... <laughs> <laughs> do like or the guys you keep up what the, you're doing <laughs> or the guys that join the army and after the first day of like uh, you're jump, nothing but and they're maggots like, i shouldn't have done this why did i sign up for this <laughs> yes. his eyeballs were massive yeah he so i hear you yell <sighs> found him and, and i like, don't what? but i don't even realize that that's what you say i just yeah. hear this yell so i come running around the corner and i'm all wife i knew that would get you over yeah here. and i i'm standing at the gate and i look and Kylo is standing between you and I uh-huh. like he just 
saw a war and ran yeah. for his life. Like and he jumped out of a, a plane without a parachute. Yeah, like, oh, and he landed on all fours somehow. Yeah. Like, he, he definitely used one of his nine lives to Not escape whatever <laughs> he did today. I don't know what adventure Aww. he went on, but he definitely died a little today. And I, I'm like, Kylo! And I'm thinking, oh, he is extra jittery right now. He doesn't even want us to touch him. And usually... He's really easy to touch. Like, oh, yeah. he's, he's loving a loving cat. cat. You open the back door, though, and he ran right in. Right in. He just was like, doom, full court press all the way. <laughs> wow, to the- sports <laughs> references and everything. <laughs> Holy shit. He put on like he was a running back. No, I'm kidding. He just went running yeah. so fast. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring a laundry oh a book club computer solitaire huh ah oh, sorry we were looking for chumba casino that's right chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino style games join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes chumbacasino.com no purchase necessary forward by law 18 plus terms and conditions apply see website for details into the house and was like almost in high, like hide mode, like get out of here. And the cat and our other cat and our dog are like, you smell. Where did you go? You the other cat's like, whore. <laughs> <laughs> That's all they did. And he's like, uh, I don't know what to do. You guys don't even know what I just saw. And he's like walking down the hallway and he's trying to get away from me. He doesn't want anything to do with me. And I'm like, hey, Kylo, stop. I was trying to give him a treat. Like, I'm glad you're here. You know, let's have a conversation. He's all, I'm not okay? going to be able to eat for a week. I'm scared. I'm so scared, do mom. Do you smell napalm sounds like dog in the morning? <laughs> And the animals are sniffing him, and he uh, will not let me touch him. And he's got stuff all over his body, like he got into bushes and just all kinds of stuff. Yeah, he's seen some things today, that's for sure. And he is fine, and he yes. is okay. And we I, don't have to tell Aiden. We, we don't, don't have, have to. to tell Aiden. He's listening to this show. He's never going to listen to this show. Can you imagine if he listened to this show like forty years from now, and he's like, "Those." That- Jerks! That happened to my cat. Let's go to that gravesite now. All, <laughs> all of those times that they said the cat were fine. Uh, that was the hardest part was thinking about how I was going to tell his him face. I lost his cat. I wasn't even that worried about the girls. I knew they would be really sad. No, they'd be sad for Aiden. They'd be, but they would be heartbroken for Aiden. The way he, he treats those cats. He's are his, their warden. He's their warden. He's their best friend. He's their. Daddy, I don't know what else you want to call him. <laughs> okay, he well, is the crazy cat dude that loves those animals. Let's say, long, uh, long story short, we um, we found we him. found him. Yay! <laughs> oh my gosh! And we didn't we, die. We didn't die, and um, we we made it through. Just you and I, babe, and all the neighbors. <laughs> uh, should, we, should we? Okay, so I had to send out the the, uh, the crisis averted calling all you, to you, all of our you neighbors. The, uh, the AES test or whatever. Yeah, I was like, mur, mur, cat found. <laughs> no ca- camber <laughs> alert. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, it was so terrible. Yeah, but our neighbors are so sweet because everybody was calling. One was calling the other. All the at home moms and at home oh, yeah. grandmas and everybody was on the at-home phone. Dads. It was so funny. Now here's the question. Okay. And this is very very selfish of us. <laughs> Do we videotape Aiden's reaction? No. Hell yeah, we do. No. Yes. No. For me. For you. Why, though? So I can put it on the internet. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, but he's, nothing's happened. No, I know, but he's going to freak out at first and probably you think try to he's stab still, me. You think he's going to freak out? I don't think he's going to freak out. A little out. bit, yeah, until he, like, it, as long as we calm him down before he's He's going to see the cat when he gets there, and then he's going to know everything's fine. I don't think he's going to panic the way that he would have had he, we had no cat. True. He won't that, that would have been different and more like heartbreaking. But I don't think he's going to panic knowing that we found it. That's crazy. But he'll never in a million years trust us again. Yeah, no, I know he won't. Even though we went hard and found that baby. 
We went everywhere. We went all, I was in all, everybody's driveways today. So, so this is my apology to all my clients. Sorry, I didn't get to your work when I said I might. Got a little sidetracked by some cat. <laughs> so I'll not that kind, not, not the <laughs> not best even, kind, not even the good not, kind, not even the good kind. But yeah, uh, that happened, and I am so happy we found him. Yeah, so that's both our right now, right now, because we literally just recovered an hour ago. And I want to say something really quick though before we get going any okay. further is, um, I don't have the right sound effect, so I'm not going to push anything more okay. than this. What are you looking at? But um. Oh, okay. My wife has been working <laughs> for 20 years. In this, with, it, with the same Sorry. company. With, with Is the that same what you're company. trying to say something? I, I had to restart oh, the applause. Oh, oh got it, got so it, got I it. edit it together. Okay. Stupid applause. Okay. With, this, with the same company for 20 years. Congratulations, honestly. Thank 20 you. a year anniversary of being hired at then Clear Channel, now iHeart. And you are uh, an anomaly in the industry. Isn't it weird? It's so weird. Yeah, 20 it years, is. literally today, 20 years I have been, that was my hire date, was 9-15-01, days after 9-11, so I'll never forget yeah, it. Yeah, right. It was a weird time to be getting a new job. Weird time to t- probably interview with anybody brand new. Everybody's probably like very like. I think I interviewed, and- yeah, I think I interviewed way before that though, and Just like follow up this was my, my hire day, like my actual hire date was today. Wow. Yeah. And I, I came over for a Radio Disney job because I was mm-hmm. already working Radio Disney in L.A. Killing it, a- by the way, in Disneyland every <laughs> night. Hanging I- out with Jesse McCartney or whatever his name is. <laughs> yeah, the one, one time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like Dream Street. Yeah, for a lot of times. Yeah, don't tell me. I listen you to you when you talk sometimes. You do listen to She does her, she did her thing at Disneyland. I honestly, I swear I probably might have seen you. Probably. Um, down there doing her thing and then you dropped out to Riverside to handle the whole entire promotions department for uh, Riverside uh, Radio, Radio Disney, Disney. Mm-hmm. which is now uh, obsolete. Yeah, it's yet. no longer here. <laughs> yet you rolled right over into the morning show at 991 KGI after about four months? Yeah. Yeah, four months. I think I took over the morning show producing gig in January of 02. So yeah, about four months mm-hmm. later, I was still working. I, I was in the building. I was already in the same building. It's all a cluster of radio stations. So Correct. they got, I got to know them. They got to know me. Everybody kind of was cross, you know, friendly. Early days of radio. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It was really cool. And it was a really big adventure for me. I was 19 years old. So I was a teenager, an ambitious person. That's what I was, was going to say is when you get into a building like that with a cluster, what, back in the day when you're, you're trying to hustle to get into the industry, you're talking to everyone. You do, yeah. You're going to every studio. You're looking in and you're waving. You're kind of asking what's going on. You're saying hi. You're in the building. Totally. You so got, your, like you got the foot it. in the door, you know what I mean? So, but I never still thought I was going to be on air then. No, I know you there. I, I never thought that. That's when it happens. And it it came, it. it it was, it was, it yeah. fell into your ear headphones. I yeah, yeah, it did. It fell into your headphones. Yeah. But Just now, a few months later, they were like, do you, would you consider going on air? And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> was that a thing? All, I could all, do that here? Hold on. This is Evelyn Arrivas. Yes, I'd like, love to go on I air. I was like, oh, <laughs> did you notice these vocal cords? These golden vocal cords? Oh, of course. And they're like a siren song. They're like, oh. <laughs> I turn into Ariel. <laughs> That's all they hear. And they're like, you're yes. on air. You got the job. But yes, congratulations to yeah. On The Real. Uh, this industry is not the most uh, polite to either uh, sex, uh, mostly women back in the day. Mm-hmm. Not so uh, polite. And you have uh, I think you've broken a couple glass ceilings along the way. And that's going to be <laughs> something I'm going to hold dear to my heart. Um, Thanks, babe. But also, just 20 years uh, at any job yeah. is, is a feat. And, and where is your gold watch? I, you know, so here's what happened. Hold on. Where's your gold clock necklace, I should say? <laughs> My gold clock necklace? Yeah, like the one dude. Flavor Flav! Why would I get a gold clock necklace? Entertainment industry? No. They gave, they gave watches to Teamsters. Okay, you, <laughs> This is why he's anyway. no longer on pop radio or anything. <laughs> Flavor Flav, really? That's the reference you're going to go with? <laughs> okay, so where's your gold watch? No, I, well, that's the funny thing about this industry um, and our building is very small, so and I... It's getting even smaller it's now. very understaffed right <laughs> now. We don't have very many people there. Um, of course, my morning show guys and then my direct boss. But um, I go into the building today. 
Uh-oh. And no, I didn't say anything or anything at first. Balloons and, and streamers. No, and like no. A band. I like, knew no Hello. one's gonna. I knew no one was gonna say anything. Nothing? Look, I knew no one. But I, I said something. It was like an hour in, and I'm like, "You guys, today's my anniversary." And they're like, "Oh, you've been born?" <laughs> no, the guys <laughs> are like, "Oh, today's the 20 years." Uh. And I said, "Yeah," and they're like. That's great. Congrats. And they were sweet. And then um, ODM, you know, he's like, welcome to the club, you know, because he's also been at our at the in our office for over 20 years. Mm -hmm. And um, and he's like, that's great. And then so we kind of made a joke about it. And I was like, I sort of thought there'd be a cupcake or or a band or or a plaque or something. And I kind of joked about it. And then I go, wait a minute. ODM, you got a plaque at 20 years. And he goes. Yeah, yeah, I did. You're right. He goes a few months late though, so maybe it's coming. <laughs> You're gonna have to wait. I was like, okay, I got it. I'll wait. I'll wait a little bit. It's in the mail. I don't think I'm say. getting anything. Nobody made a deal about it. And it's not a big deal. It really isn't. But you yes, know, it in, is. It's in a some huge deal. Well, in some organizations, well, not stuff. I mean, no, no, no. And I don't need anything. But you know, you look at my like my brother and my dad. Right? They get those. If they've been with a company in UPS, right? They oh, get yeah. ten years. You say, All right, you hit your ten year mark. You know, twenty years. You get your twenty year mark, and you get things, and you get all these things. It's not like that. It sounds very at our familiar to like company rehab. <laughs> you're, you, that they you get, get your tokens. car, your token. <laughs> You've been sober for twenty years. You've been doing this shit for twenty. Look, years. I'm in radio. There's no chance I've been sober for twenty years. <laughs> Let alone today. Let alone twenty days. No, I'm kidding. The cat was almost lost. We uh, we earned. What do you this. think we did? <laughs> as soon as we found that damn cat. <laughs> oh wow. No. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I don't. I mean, I don't expect anything, obviously, but I think between you and I understanding this industry and understanding how weird it is to be in radio for 20 years at the exact same building and the right. exact same company, you know, and especially I, all I did was mornings. Once I went radio, once I went on air, it was You've mornings the entire time. Only been awake at 4am forever. Like only that's why the bags under my eyes well, are bags. so massive now. Um, right. but yeah. So, I mean, I don't, I don't expect anything, but I am going to make, I, to us, you and I, we are making a bigger deal about it because it's important. It's amazing. It's important so, that people know that, I mean, that you, you know that about yourself. And I am going to allow myself to feel important for a day and say, yeah, bitch, I did that. <laughs> 20 years. 20 years. How? That's a lot of hard work. 20 years. I started when I was a baby, 19 years old. And I mean, especially with all one the- place. With everything that's been going on the entire time, you know, you've been working there. There's been a lot of stuff, but ups and downs. Congratulations! Lots of them and yeah, I want to do a fast fire. I'm going to ask you a few questions about your your job for the last okay. 20 years. Okay, and you have to you have to answer them in a uh, fashion of uh, 10 words or less. Oh, 10 words or less? Yes, they're not going to be hard questions. Okay, like, when was the first time you went to a place and did that thing? That's not that. Okay, got it. Favorite interview? Oh God. Okay, Janet Jackson. Yeah, I saw the pictures of that one when you went to her hotel mm-hmm, room. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Favorite concert? Oh, dude, that's hard. That's really hard. Let me narrow it down. Favorite we, concert you got to host? Oh, gosh. We did the, uh, you did the, uh, what is it, Ozo Motley? Was it Ozo Motley that you did? No, no, it was something else. At the, uh, it was at, uh, San, no, Morongo. We were on the stage at Morongo mm. doing something. That was pretty cool. You got dressed up like the uh, bombshell girl. That was Pachanga. Oh, and oh I was close. It was Casino. Pachanga, and it was Los Lobos. Yeah, see, I was close. Well, yeah, for a golf tournament. I mean, that was really cool. Don't get me wrong. That was yeah. really cool. But I don't know. Favorite concert I've hosted? I don't know. I really love doing our festivals. Taco Festival? The ones that are local here, and they are just a fun festive environment with all of our amazing listeners. Yeah. Those are my favorite. I don't have a favorite concert i've hosted okay is that okay yeah it's fine because i like a, like all that kind of stuff i know that's 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 part of the job it's what we like it's the, the most. yeah it's so fun okay so you, i you, i said the best interview uh the um probably the person that you liked meeting the most beside janet jackson <laughs> because i don't want to say interview because you might have run into people backstage and talk for a little bit or whatever so it's like who have you encountered that you like the most Gabriel Iglesias. Oh, okay, well, there you go, Fluffy. My one of my favorite people of all time. Love you, Gabe. Yeah, when are he, you going to be on the show? By yeah, the way, yeah. By the way, Gabe, <laughs> have you been on the show? And I think the reason is is because um, my always my, my my encounters with him since the beginning, since mm-hmm. literally when I was twenty, um, have always been 
so sweet. He's a kind person. And through the years, we just became really great friends. So, yeah. I agree with you there. He's probably the celebrity that I would say. I have a lot, though, because there's a lot of really, yeah, it's hard. That's a tough one, too. I know. But he would That's be the I first name it. that came out, like, was a, I wouldn't. I, yeah. I, I, he wasn't on the top of my head, so I, I, who, I'm, who would you? Say? I don't even know. That's why I asked you. Uh, okay. Chris Brown. I used to interview Chris Brown all the time before, like all the crazy and crazy. <laughs> even after before, the crazy, and even after the crazy. Um, and he he was a great interview for almost all the times I, did, I interviewed him since he was sixteen. You ran into him once. Yeah, he's a good guy. Okay, so <laughs> uh, uh, you've been there twenty years. And you know as well as I do that when you work in radio, you hear a song that you really just don't like. It's just like, <laughs> oh, God, just make it go away. Does anything come to mind? Oh, my God. I'm going to regret saying this. There was one specific song, and it's grown on me. So, But I remember when it came out, Yeah, both me and my co-hosts were like, get this song off the radio. And, it, and I'm going to sound terrible, but back, I love Lil Wayne. Okay. Oh shit! I love Lil Wayne. Sorry. Like I love him, but I hated that Amelie song. <laughs> Do you remember that song? Amelie, 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 Amelie. Oh, when it came out, I was like, <gasps> I can't. Like in when you're in the studio and you're like working and that thing, it's just so repetitive and it comes on and on. Now you want to bang your has, head against the wall. Yeah, and it's since we you know won me over. Yeah. I like the song more now than I did then. But at the time, yeah. But the I, fact that it came to you that fast, it was, was definitely one of There was something songs. that I was like, I cannot handle this song. But I love Lil Wayne. So that's what's weird about it is. All right. Like, last question, because okay. this is for our, our, our radio people, our friends that work in the industry. And have been doing it for a while. Uh, back in the day before computers, you used to have to plan out your restroom breaks. And you yeah. used to have to decide <laughs> which song you wanted to do it during because... If not, you had to change your carts and CDs. So you had to pick a song that was probably over about five minutes if you had to do your business. So what was your poop song? My poop song was, now keep in mind, back when I first started at 99.1 KGGI. Yes. Um, it, That's what I'm saying, we like were, back when it was carts and CDs. Yes, our old song. We would play a lot more old school. Mm -hmm. So old school and today's hit, the hottest hit music, but also like old school. So it was Reasons. Live. Let's see if you Who's can pull that? that out. Earth, Wind, and Fire. Um, Reasons Live is the longest song in the history of the world. <laughs> is it? It's like, and there's this whole ending part that it's like, do, 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 do. Eight minutes and 33 seconds. <laughs> yes. That was one of them. Um, okay. And there was another live song. Uh, I think it's... Uh, Casey and JoJo lately live, which was the MTV unplugged version of that uh, so song. So they probably like went. Ah, ah, yeah, a yeah. Lot it throughout. was a lot of the who calls this time? <laughs> good, baby, you're good, baby, you're good, baby, goodbye. It was like this long. Was White Lions? It was drawn out. <laughs> white Lions or Rapper's Paradise? We had White Lions. We played White, white Lions. Um, but again, remember, like that was old, old school, school. Yeah, yeah. Really old school for even me at that time. Um, so we did definitely played that song, but it wasn't on regular rotation like that. We could just throw the song in. These were songs we could grab really quick and throw in and be like, I got to go pee. You're like, I got to go to the bathroom right now. Yeah, those were those kind of fun songs. Now, keep in mind, we did not have carts um, and CDs for very much longer. I, w I think we had CDs um, for just maybe that year and then. Everything was automated. And then so, got automated. yeah, we were really not you having were way to do. Sooner than I, I was, was... At X1039, we were like, we had to have poop songs. Yeah. Welcome yeah. No, we Black were, parade. everything was pretty automated by the time I came to that building. Wow. Really? Yeah. But oh. we still put in, we still could add songs to make sure we had long breaks. And that makes sense. not everything was the way it was now where you can like auto seg everything. Of course. So we still needed to be back before the dead air. I just know? love that, that, if you talk to old older people that worked in radio, not older, I should say, people that have had a longer career in radio and have started at a younger age. Or started in the 80s or 70s or 80s or whatever. They all have poop songs. Yeah, for sure. But anybody <laughs> after 2000 really doesn't have a poop song. I'm no. sorry. Unless, just like, put unless it in you're auto sync. At, yeah, and I started in 01, so it was not, you know. I it was definitely of X1039, X1, we didn't but get was, computers for a while. Well, that was because you guys, were, you were in a small Super station. Super small station, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. We, uh, I mean, Papa Roach, uh, alternative songs are also short like blink one of the two they didn't have anything over three minutes yeah it's definitely two minutes you know? 30 seconds so it was tool 
Yeah. Oh, Tool, Tool was our savior. That would make sense. Seven, eight minute Lazarus. Yeah. Put in I some 49 and none or whatever the hell it is. <laughs> you can I go, am the Learn to swim. Learn to swim. Learn to swim. I'm open. Learn to swim. Learn to swim. Wait. Oh, wait. Is that the last? Oh, God. This is the last chorus. Then, I gotta go. <laughs> and then if you're working at night, you leave the bathroom door open so you can hear it. Nobody's in the building. Oh, yeah. I did that. Anytime I worked overnights. Anytime I worked overnights, those bathroom doors were wide open. I didn't oh, even yeah. care. I didn't care if a street teamer was coming back from a club <laughs> and could totally walk by and see me. I was like, I don't care. I got to make sure there's no dead air it was in totally, 10 minutes. <laughs> I remember. I remember. Oh, my God. That's so funny. Oh, I even actually went to points where I was sit, sleeping on the couch, setting an alarm for 15 minutes from that point to get back up and do my next break. I was oh, so tired Mike, That's the worst. Oh. Those wild nights. I love you. I love you too. Thank you. Congratulations. 20 years. I, I, I am super, super, um, uh, like just impressed. Oh, thanks babe. You rock. I'm broadcasting for, I think 23 years, 24 years now, but in this building, 20 years. Incredible. I'm excited. Damn it. I do this bitch. Do you want to end on that note or no? Yeah. Hold on. Do one more, one more time and then I'll play the outro. Ready? Go. I do this bitch. Converse seat with us. Converse seat with us. Thank you for listening to Converse seat with us. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.